Hello, my name is Imo Sarfa and I'm a math curriculum writer and the director of Lifestem Academy and, Li and the Learning Institute for Excellence. In this video, I want to briefly talk about how, uh, what steps you can take to become good at math. I've written a book called Tools for Mastery Mathematics and I will be referring to it from time to time. But in this short video, I just want to say something about um, math practice and the importance of practicing and how to practice. If you want to be good at anything, there are techniques that you need to use, right? There's something called deliberate practice, which is highlighted in a book by Anders Ericsson right behind me here. Uh, Anders Ericsson actually has a book that goes over strategies for practice called Peak. In the book Peak, he talks about deliberate practice, this idea of having a coach and having a method to learning things and learning them well. Anders Ericsson's work is actually part of what inspired another book by a man named Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers. In Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell talks about this 10,000 hour rule and he's quoting Anders Ericsson's books, uh, er Anders Ericsson's work. So practice is important. It's not just enough to have 10,000 hours though. You need to be able to have a coach that guides you along the way and you have to use deliberate practice to learn the thing you're trying to learn. Whether you're trying to learn math or trying to learn piano or trying to learn soccer, it's good to have a strategy and a mentor to help you along the way. So I will be doing a series uh, as I, I'm already doing and I'll continue doing this series on how to become or how to raise uh, mathematicians and scientists of the 21st century. So stay tuned for the audio version of the book, which is coming out soon. But how do we raise the next generation of scientists and mathematicians? We teach them how to practice well, not just with busy work, but teach them the art of taking good notes, of practicing and keeping track of those notes that they can go back to later and review. Practice is important, but how you practice is also very important. So stay tuned for more videos that will discuss the strategies for practice. You can also check out Andres Erickson's book, Peak. You could check out, um, uh, as I said, uh, Outliers, which also talks about stories of people that practiced well. Um, okay, so let me land the plane with a couple of things. I grew up in Nigeria, and we were blessed with teachers that encouraged us to practice, 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 right? That was um, part of our schedule, especially since I went to a boarding school for my high school years. And one of the things I want to mention with the, the, the Nigerian curriculum is this idea of an integrated math approach. Every year, you're learning a little bit of algebra, a little bit of statistics, a little bit of um, uh, geometry. So your math skills are, you're, you're challenged with different types of math, right? And so... I, I live in the United States, but we, my school does annual trips to different parts of the world. And last year, we, our last school year, we went to Cambridge and Oxford. And while I was at Cambridge, I went to their bookstore, which is a very dangerous thing for Amos to do. Amos going to a bookstore because I love books, right? And so they had this book, the Mathematics Core and Extended, um, the IGCSE. And so we are in America, but it's cool to be able to take a book from England and look at how they... Uh, put their problems down and the different kinds of problems. And why is this important? It is important for us to know how to handle different types of problems in different situations, right? Because it's like playing a sport. Let's say you play basketball. And if you play basketball and you've been playing with people who are at the same level as you and you guys are doing the same type of games every time, it's, it's going to be another thing when you show up at a, a big team, a big league, for example, and you're playing a different team, and you have to adjust your game. So maybe you were comfortable always dribbling from the right side to go score. But what happens when now they have a player that is making you not go to the right? Well, do you have the skill to go to the left? Are you able to pivot, right? Maybe you're very comfortable with mid-range shooting. What if now you have to go to the three-point line? So notice that you need all your skills to be ready. That's part of how we were trained in math in Nigeria. Every year your skills are reviewed. Every single major branch of math, you're reviewing different branches. If you failed the seventh grade math, right? Well, this is actually 10th grade I have up here. If you failed the 10th grade math in Nigeria, you actually had to repeat all of 10th grade. Not just the math class, but all of 10th grade. That's how serious they take math. And that's part of what we're doing with our math program, um, our Tools for Mastery Math program. We are helping students to take math more seriously. If you want to take math more seriously, you can use my um, description in the description section. You can use the, uh, uh, the the my open math enrollment key and the course ID. You can use that to sign up for a free assessment, a pre-algebra assessment. It's free. You can take that assessment and you can see where your math skills are. And then, if you want to talk more about uh, you know joining our webinars or you know doing more practice with us, let us know. We have online courses that we do. But here is the conclusion again: It is important to know how to practice. It's also important to make sure that you're reviewing different branches of math regularly. If you do that, you are on your way to becoming a world-class mathematician. Practice matters. Your studies matter, students, so keep applying yourself to excellence. And no matter what your history in the past, give math a chance again. 
because math is the gateway to many fields of study. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos about math and math education and how to be good at math. Um, I also teach math history, and this is part of why I'm wearing a Cambridge University shirt. We went to Cambridge partly because of studying Isaac Newton, uh, seeing where he grew up and where he went to school. Uh, but math history is also very cool, so make sure you spend some time with that. Uh, I look forward to sharing more with you from my book, Tools for Mastery Mathematics. Have a blessed day and take care.